I'm bringing glad tidings from the folks of Carroll County. I was just up there for the Carroll County barbecue, and they're probably polishing off their lobsters about now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I told them I was coming down here, but I didn't know that I'd be coming to such a large audience. This is amazing for a Saturday. It's great to see so many good people here. And you and I are joining people around the country who today are marching to reclaim freedom and liberty. <laughs> there is something exciting happening in America. It's a little nerve-wracking because of the why it's happening. But men and women across this country are rediscovering the Constitution, are rediscovering the freedoms that our founding fathers thought they were giving us. And they're rediscovering the fact that for too long, and with this administration, people are forgetting that the Constitution is supposed to protect us from government. Now, the fundamental principle of our country is that all power the government has is derived from the people. We are born and endowed by our Creator with unalienable rights, right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And that's not all. And any power the government has is because we've delegated it to, it, to the government as people. The government doesn't have its own power, only what we delegate to it. But this crowd in Washington is taking over health care, the auto industry, the financial industry. It is sending us down the road to socialism in rapid pace, and we need to stop it now. The people of this country are going to stop it now. So I don't need to tell you that you know when it comes to government, less is more. Less government means more freedom, more responsibility, more opportunity, more liberty. It's almost, it's like an end sum, a, a, a zero sum game. You know, if you have $100 and you give it away, you've got 90, $99 left. If you give government power, you get a little less power. And it used to be when we had a balanced budget, or at least tried to govern by a balanced budget, we were taking our own freedom and giving it a little bit to the government to do what needed to be done. National defense, interstate commerce. Today, the government is taking your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren's freedom to pay for today's pro programs. And they're going to be paying for that for generations to come. That has got to stop, which is why I support a balanced budget amendment. Yeah. Yeah. also need independent people to come down to Washington who are independent of special interests and the best of interests. Republicans, uh, we're the party that should be doing that. But I'm among friends here, Republican friends, I think. And we all know we have some explaining to do as Lucy, as, as Vince would tell Lucy, we got some explaining to do Lucy. <laughs> and the explaining we have to do is as Republicans, we've let the people down. We have to start by acknowledging that the Republican Party has not successfully blocked the earmarks, has not su successfully balanced the budget. And a lot of our people who are, should be with us have turned against us. This is the time to re-invite them back because we're telling them we're going to own our platform. We are going to be sending people down who we nominate to Washington and to the State House and to our local communities who believe in Republican principles and live by it. And that's what we need to be doing with people. Last night was at an NRA dinner sitting with a fellow who said he changed his registration and voted for Barack Obama. I said, what, are you kidding? He said, he said I'm embarrassed to tell you I did that. I'm embarrassed to tell you that I was misled by that man. But I, was, I did it because I was upset with the Republican Party. I said, welcome back. He said, I'm changing my registration. Let's hope a lot of people do that right now. because we're bringing people out who have not been involved before in politics. Let's invite people who haven't been involved in politics before to participate with us, to support us and work with us. This is an opportunity to change America fundamentally. The 2010 election is going to be a transform transformational election if we do the right thing. And the enthusiasm and the, the, your presence today is testimony to the fact that you want to make a difference as I do. I support structural changes to the Congress in addition to the balanced budget amendment, like term limits. I think two terms for a U.S. Senator, six terms for a congressman is enough. Most people can do the job. We've got to get more people in.
life in New Hampshire, I'm going to continue to have a good life in New Hampshire. But I'm willing to give up the practice I've built. And my wife and I are empty nesters now. We have the great, how many of you are empty nesters? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, it's a lot of fun to be an empty nester. I'm willing to give that up to serve the people of this country because, and the state because I believe so passionately that we need to change course in Washington. I think I have the ability to do that. I survive with a name like Ovid. I'm taking on tough battles, and I'll take the battles for the people. The battles for the people here in New Hampshire and across the country can make fundamental change in Washington if I run and you give me a chance. And if you want to be supportive, I need to hear from you. I'm testing the waters, which means I have an opportunity to speak to people like you who I think we're, we're on the same page. But I need to know that you want me to run. And if you don't, let me know that too. I, you know, I, I, like I said, I have a great life. I don't need to change it. But I will change it with your health and support. God bless you for being here. God bless America. And let's win in 2010. Okay, this is my last chance for a commercial interruption. Uh, the, the raffle, I found out... Uh, I should have